Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again. This is my E3 coverage, and this is an analysis of Scalebound. So if you've seen any of my older videos or been with me for a while, you will know that Hideki Kamiya is one of those developers that I admire massively. He is probably one of my favourite directors of any um, game production ever. There are a few names that I would hold in the same echelon as him, and everything he does is great. I don't think he's ever made a bad game, I really don't. There's been some that weren't particularly to my tastes, but for the most, he's just a genius, he really is, and I adore what he brings to gaming, because it's oftentimes my favourite games that there are. Scalebound is a title that I'm a champion of. I've been supporting this game since I first heard it, I can't wait for it. I think it's going to be great. That being said, I think this demo that they showed at E3 was trying to hit the widest possible market of people, and in doing so, I think it probably will disappoint a lot of the people who are its biggest fans. I would call this potentially the most disappointing demo at E3 for me. And it's not because I don't think that this looks good, and it's not because I don't like the idea of co-op. This demo does exactly what it's meant to showcase. It's meant to showcase massive scale, boss fights, in co-op, with the dragon as a, as a heavy element in gameplay. And that's what this showcases. But that's not why I play these games. I probably won't play Scalebound co-op unless some of my friends buy it. And a lot of my friends, they're not into the games that take a lot of practice to get good at, a lot of muscle memory, you know, a lot of reflex and punishing difficulty, which is kind of what, you know, Shinji Mikami and Hideki Kamiya by extension are pretty much known for. Games that don't patronise, basically. And that's not to say that my friends aren't skillful or anything, they just, they like different things, you know. They've never been into the Devil May Cries and, and stuff like that, so... I'll probably play this game solo, and... I don't really want to be a dragon. I don't really want to use the dragon. I want to be a dude doing sword combat and doing the stuff that I would do in a game such as Bayonetta, just on the scale of Scalebound, with all the RPG elements to it. And I don't know if that's going to be something I'm able to do with this game, because of the way that the kind of staging it. The emphasis in this trailer was that this is the first boss, and the bosses just get bigger and crazier, which this is what Platinum are known for. They always escalate in their games, and by the end of it, you're beating up a deity in a parallel universe like that you got to by climbing a sky rocket going towards outer space and all kinds of weird shit. Like, they're crazy games. They are very, very crazy, and they're better for that craziness. But the dragon demo here, all it showcased to me was everybody side strafing on a dragon firing fireballs. It was really slow. It was just kind of like if I wanted to watch a raid boss from an MMO where everybody just right clicks for two hours I'd watch that and this to me it didn't have any of the signature things that I play these games for like the main character I don't mind him I think he looks okay I don't like it when he turns into that sugar puff knight because I think the armor looks too fat I thought he was gonna be the same build but his entire skin would have a layer of concrete on it and he'd be kind of slender and a little bit like the vanquish suit just look really cool, but instead, you kind of turn into, like, Brick Shredder, and I don't know, it, it does nothing for me, as he climbs over here, after Thuban throws him onto this, this weak point, and he does some Shadow of the Colossus punching, a wonderful 101 punching, and it's all very cinematic, and he's, he's breaking the limbs and destroying the anatomy, and... You know, it's probably really fun when you're playing, and there will be some kind of mechanic to weaken it and beat it up and stuff, but... I don't know. To me, this is showcasing the kind of stuff that... Uh, the bosses are not going to be too frequent of this variety. They're going to be at the end of the dungeons. And if you look at the wonderful 101, the combat in the level, way different to the boss fights. I'm interested in what you do outside of these massive moments. This, this demo for me is just... It's the, the really shiny thing that you wave at the magpies to get their attention. Whereas I'm the dude who sat back just kind of wanting to see the stuff that's got the substance. And you can have the fanciest trailers all you want and the biggest graphics and huge bosses and all kinds of, you know, edgy music, 
But I want to see in the menus. I want to see the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. I want to see the iterations. I want to see the skill trees. I want to see what you do when you fight against people that are your own size. I want to see the relationship between the dragon. And I want to see really fantastical, beautiful areas. I don't want to watch four dragons breathe fire at a giant crab scorpion that slowly climbs a drippy corridor for 20 minutes. Like, it did nothing for me. And to say this... I take no pleasure in saying this, guys, but that's how I felt. Like, Near Automata showed me everything I wanted to see. Scalebound showed me the opposite of what I wanted to see. So I was very disappointed with this presentation, but at the same time, I 100% understand why they did it, because this was to showcase the co-op. It was to get this game that I'm going to buy anyway. They're not selling it to me. They've already sold it to me. They own my soul. They're trying to get you to buy it. The dude who might have just clicked on this video, doesn't know what Scalebound is, and thinks it looks cool, and has no experience with, with these kind of games. They want you to buy it. So that's what this demo is for. This demo is for you to go, wow. This looks interesting. I want to see what this is about. And it's for Microsoft to say, we actually have an exclusive. Please buy our console and the three other consoles we're making because this one doesn't work right. Please. Pretty please. But that's uh, the end of that video, guys. Tell me how you felt in the comments. How are you feeling about Scalebound? Did it do anything for you? Did it blow your socks off? Or was it as underwhelming as I found it? But thank you very much for watching. Thank you for supporting. And you take care now.